great. Well, it had to be something of your dad's, didn't it, eh? Like the atmosphere in this place isn't bad enough already. I don't care. I'm glad I broke it. He hates me and I hate him back. I'm going to jump on all his boxes, then chuck them out the window. Then I'm going to chuck Beth out the window. He only likes her. He doesn't like me. I hope she bangs her head. That is a terrible thing to say. Now you get to your room now. What's going on? I'm sorry, Lance. But I don't think we'll be going bowling tonight because Josh is having an early bath. You promised you did. You said if I was good at school, and I was really, really good at school, fool that Mr Donnelly one, he'll tell you. So what does all this mean, eh? Sorry. You're not sorry. You shouldn't use words like sorry unless you mean them. And you shouldn't make promises unless you mean them. Don't you shift the blame to me. Now your father and your granddad, they've washed their hands of you. Now, I am on your side right now, but don't push me, mulatto, because I swear... I hate me, Dad, and I hate me, Granddad. Jump me to you as well, you horrible... All right, look, calm down. Before someone says something, they're going to regret. Are we going the bowling alley or what? No, we are not. Now, you are a very bad boy, and you will get to your room now! But I was God! Dad, Laser Quest, lying! Stand at the fear lion, you bitty party lion, the pictures lion, fuzzy practice lion, bowling lion, everybody lion, lion, lion. I'm sorry, okay? That's what's he doing? What's happened? What? I am gonna kill him! What is that kind of song? Calm down, get a grip. Come on. No, I thought you had to go and see Nicky about the bungalow. Hey, get your coat and go now. Come back when you're thinking clear. Come on. Go. Must have taken your ages. I did it in the movie. Your granddad's dead boring. Were you feeling bad? And are you feeling bad now? Well, so you should be. You scared the life out of your poor mum. Now she's out there thinking she's the worst mother in the world. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, sorry is a little bit like chewy Josh. You can only have it in your mouth so long before it starts to taste bitter. And let's face it, your little bit of sorry's been chewed over quite a few times recently. Well, I am sorry. Yeah, mate, it doesn't matter if you're going to do the same thing again the next day and the day after that. But this is different. That is enough. Or it'll be me straight out that door and no mistake. Right, get the dustpan and brush and get rid of the evidence. Come on, before your dad comes home. The last thing your mum needs is another run-in with those two. Ah. Oh, well, we've had the sweat and the tears. We might as well have the blood as well. I didn't mean it. No, I know you didn't. Go and rinse it while I find you a plaster. Surface tension. I did that at school. What's that then? Well, it's when the water molecules cling together for dear life. You know, to stop anything from the outside world breaking them apart. I was that good at chemistry. Right, let's have a look. Oh. You'll live. Right, come on. Bedroom. Today's a fresh...
Well, it looks great. Josh, I think it's his birthday. Hello? Posh Josh, eh? <laughs> we made up when he sees it. Mum! Mum! Who's that? Sounds like Josh. That is Josh! What's happened to him? Josh! What's happened? Nothing. Oh, what's he done now? Oh, Josh! Will you look at the kip of this place? Why is all your stuff out here? Uh, some bad lads chased me. What did he say? Oh, he said some bad lads chased him. Come on, let's get it picked up. No, no, honestly, Gab, you're all right. You go home. Don't mind, Gabby, please. I'll sort it out, OK? So, come on, then. What? These bullies. Yeah? The lads who've been doing this to you. Well, I want to know what happened to her. Why? So I can tell the school. What for? So they can deal with her. I don't want to talk about it. Well, I do. You come home, you're covered in paint, your uniform's been ragged off you and all your books are torn. They can't be allowed to do this to people. They've got to be stopped. Can I have me drink? There is no way they can treat people like this. I mean, look what happened to Anthony Murray, eh? His school let them get away with it and I'm not having you turn out like him. So, we can start by you telling me their names. I don't know the names. They weren't in my class. Well, how about what they look like? I told you I don't know who they were. <gasps> oh, look, all the fizz has gone now. Josh! There was no need for that. I'm soaked now. Look at the state of me. Hello? Oh, hello, Mr Donnelly. I'm glad you called. I was about to ring in myself. Too right about Josh. You want to see the state of him? And I want to know what you're going to do about the bullies who've done this to him. Well, yeah, you want to see him? He's terrified here. I can't get a word out of him. He what? He's been excluded. For hitting a teacher. Josh! Josh! Look, oh, I'm sorry, Mr Donnelly. I'm going to have to call you back if there's, there's someone at the door. Hi, uh, it's only me. You told me that you were chased down by a gang of bad lads. They chased you all the way from school, they ragged the uniform off you and they left you petrified in the corridor, didn't you? But that's not what really happened, is it? Josh, you don't have to be scared of telling the truth. That's not what happened, is it? It's not what happened because I've spoken to Mr Donnelly. You heard me. Now, Mr Donnelly tells me you hit your class teacher. And when they were trying to calm you down, that's when you did the runner. That's what really happened, isn't it? Come on, Josh. Why, Josh? That's all I want to know. Why did you hit your teacher? They said I was throwing paint, but I wasn't. It was them. They put the blame on me. All the other kids? I didn't mean to hit her. It happened when she was dragging me off. Dragging you off? I told you. They all ganged up on me. So you were defending yourself? Josh, did they think you're hard because you've been excluded from another school or something? They all ganged up on me at break. For no other reason? Because I answered a load of questions, right? You know what, Josh Mack? You don't know how lucky you are. Your mum is a fantastic mum to you, and you should be treating her like the best mum in the world, not carrying on like this. You know, we need to have a serious talk, don't you? Eh? About this teacher business. But not this minute, eh? Not here. Because my bum is so numb <laughs> sitting on this stair. <laughs> I know, I think my knees have locked. <laughs> look at the state of me. My girl virus has had a go. <laughs> or you. Don't be laughing at your mum. You know what she's like. She'll be sending you the dry cleaning bill. Sorry. Yeah, you've walked it all through the flat. Why don't you go and get a bath, eh? Get yourself cleaned up. Yeah. Leave your dirty clothes out for the wash. Go on. Oh, way. Oh. Oh, this wash is off. <sighs> Why does everything always have to go wrong for him, eh? Now, listen, you. What you were saying about Josh earlier. There's no way you hate that kid. No way in the world.
It's called responsibility. It's only me, Josh. I'm coming in, OK? Oh, my God! <laughs> Josh, what have you done? Isn't it brilliant? There must be about a million bubbles in here. How did you do this? No, it wasn't me. It was the safest tension. All the little molecules holding together so that nothing can get in and break them apart. Listen. Do you know those sorry pictures you do for me? Do you know what? It should be me saying I'm sorry. I know sometimes things go wrong for you. You get yourself into all kinds of trouble and you don't know why. But, listen, whatever happens, however long it takes to make things go for you, you know I'm going to be there for you, don't you, eh? Just like I know, you are always going to be there for me, aren't you? And we're going to get through this, me and you. We're going to show them that Mr Donnelly kicked you out. We are going to find you a brilliant school. And you are going to love it. You'll make loads of friends. You'll do really well. And we'll show them, won't we, eh? I love you. I know you do, son. I love you too. Hey, every last molecule of you. Mm. <laughs>